What's up, London? Here we are, man. The one night of the year. You guys get to get as drunk as you always do. But tonight is acceptable. Tonight it's not weird. Any other day, I mean, people get, they're like, it's New Year's Eve. I'm like, I've seen you like Tuesday in May. Tuesday morning in May, be this hammer. Don't act like it's anything different, man. We can love it. There's Americans in the room, I guess. Too many. This is like how everyone started their thing. Don't worry about it, bro. Okay, cool. You look, uh, you're American, yeah? Excellent, man. Why are you defensive all of a sudden? Have people been picking on you? Huh? That's what they do, bro. They try to break you down. Huh? That's what happens to me, man. I came over here, I was an American. Somebody got too close to me on the tube, I'd be like, hey, buddy. Get out of my space. Now I just nestle my head into his armpit. Just sort of sit there. Someone behind me is actually inside me. Like, it's just more five more stops, dude. Just let it happen. Hell yeah, huh? You strutted right in here, dude. You didn't even put your passport up at customs. You're like, this is my fucking pants. <laughs> That's how Americans think. Americans think everyone's just gonna roll out the red carpet for them. I'm from America, okay? Excuse me. It's a pretty big deal for you guys, all right? Customs, uh, yeah, there's an EU one and then uh, the other one, but I'll just probably just walk on in, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm from America. Yeah. This is my passport, dude. <laughs> Couple of claps, all right, nice. You girls, are you the girls who tried to fight someone in the back? <laughs> that was fucking great, man. Is that what happened? Didn't you stand up and challenge somebody in the back? Like I walked in? That's nice, man. Who does this hot tamale belong to? <laughs> That's fi Seriously? Holy shit, man. He's a doctor? Which is what you look like. This is very strange, man. And then the American dude, uh, doesn't, he looks like someone that Trump wouldn't let in the country. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro, it's gonna be a lot harder on the re-entry. They're gonna be like, nah, straw, dude. You're like, I swear, I'm from Detroit. Mm-hmm. Detroit's fucking nuts, by the way, you guys. Like, just so you know, I don't even know a part of London that I could even compare it to. Like, you know how Dalston was in the 70s? That's what Detroit is like right now. Robocop took place in Detroit. They have a statue of Robocop in Detroit. Yeah, that's their hero. I can't believe we ever wondered how, like, we, when Trump got elected, we're like, how did this happen? Dude, fucking Detroit had a statue of Robocop in, like, 1991. I could have seen that shit a mile away. Everyone's like, someone told me recently, like, I think Donald Trump's gonna get assassinated. I'm like, no, he won't, because the people who voted for him are the people who shoot fucking presidents, all right? It's not gonna happen. The worst that's gonna happen to him, someone's gonna throw a bucket of water on him and be like, that represents the polarized caps, mister. Global warming is real, I got him. The other side knows how to protest. I didn't like that president, so shot him in the fucking face. Can't argue with that, Travis, good call. It's true, man, everybody in America has guns. You guys don't even have guns, your cops don't even have guns. What a fantastic place to be at right now. How safe do you feel getting shit house wasted blackout when there's no possible, you know, there could be no accidents here? Cops walking around. Dude, I love it. Half this room is blacked out right now. I can feel it. I love it, man. This is like if a tree falls in the forest. I've got half the room blacked out wasted, and the only people, the, you guys up front, did your coke a little early. That's all that's happening. You girls are just like, yeah! I didn't even say anything worth cheering. You're like, yeah! What's that? Have you been here all night? Holy shit, man. You look like an angry Dragon Ball Z character. Dude, if you didn't say anything, have you ever seen that 70s sitcom, Kung Fu? I feel like you just appeared out of nowhere to encourage me for the rest of my set. I just look over and there's a fucking sensei, just like, I, s I see you are struggling, young one. I will be here to guide you. Fuck yeah, man. You look great, I love that. No hair up top, like a party on the chin. It's 
a solid look, man. It's a very solid look. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about Trump. And you guys, no, you don't have to be, man. We do this all the time, right? American, you know this. We always vote for the exact opposite of what came before. You know, we had George W. Bush, what do we do? Liberal black president. Liberal black president, bright red angry president, okay? All I'm saying is we get through four years of this, maybe even eight, you get ready for the biggest, gayest Mexican president. These girls are high-fiving and they don't even know why. I love these girls. Again, yeah! This president is going to be awesome, man. Forget about The Rock. He'll come out and cut off Daisy Dukes in a halter top. Doing press conferences like, You're not talking to me like that, okay? Eh! Este es Estados Unidos! Trump will be hanging from the ceiling like a piñata. Little Puerto Rican boys bashing him around. That's right, you beat that Trump in. Build a bridge to Mexico. Look at the wall, dude. It's like a catwalk. Dude just walks it every day. That's what the president does. That's right, I see you all. It's a fucking big place, America, man. It's tough, you know? I'm not gonna go back. There's too many guns, man. Everybody's got guns. British people don't have guns. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, you can't have them. You're too depressed. You'd shoot yourselves. In America, dude, even your cops, man, that's what I love. Your cops don't have guns. In America, they have guns, and they're fat, which says, I'm not running after you. You're getting shot, and that's what's happening. Nobody's running in this situation, right? All I ever see the cops doing over here is walking in pairs of two, having a conversation with each other. You know, a conversation, much like the one that you two are having right now. I'm gonna allow it. You girls talk as much as you want. You want you to bring positive energy to the room, okay? Do you know the girl that tried to fight the girl in the back? Huh? Uh, yes, master? Dude, a, a, a peace comes over me when I look at your face, you know that? Like a calm, dude. I'm one with the force when I look in your eyes. Hell yeah, I feel like Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was the shit, man. He'd make cat noises when people tried to fight him. You know, gangster, you gotta be able to do that when someone's coming at you. Laser pointer, only way to beat them. That's a cute joke. That's just a cute little joke for you guys. You made it up. This guy's clapping. Guys, we've got about 10% of the room on board. If we keep up like this, it's gonna be one hell of a night, man. I love this, man. Fucking people get shit-faced in this country. And this is a melting pot, too. Like, London right now is like the United Nations of the best alcoholics in the world right now. Honestly, there's representatives from all over the place. This is like Eurovision for drunks right now. Where are you from? Cousin. It depends? Okay, so you're an escort. All right. Well, Whoever you want me to be. I am this, I am this. That explains this whole situation right here. I'm looking at this couple going, how the fuck is this possible? And then you said he's a doctor, which means he can afford high quality. Because, oh, my master is pumped. It's true. <laughs> if you're broke, and you buy an escort in England, you're getting some broke-ass chick from home, like, ah, right, eh. And she'll blow you. And it'll be awesome, because up there they have no teeth. But this guy, dude, this guy got the pick, man. He had cosplay options. <laughs> That's a pretty twisted fetish, bro. You guys gonna do an extended deposition after the set? So, where were you on December 31st, 2017? I was in a comedy club being a bad little boy. You were, weren't you? You guys gonna do some Kill a Mockingbird shit? Yeah, I know your little, your Kill a Mockingbird fantasy. That's where you two have sex, and then he watches and calls himself Boo Radley. <laughs> Thank you very much. There's a couple of school teachers over there like, well, that was... 
all of the room collectively came together in the, just being impressed that an American read a book. <laughs> They're like, this guy's from America? That's some fucking Killer Mockingbird reference right there, dude. That's the thing about, that's why we are stupid though, and you wonder why it is, dude? Okay, are you? Oh shit, are we about to fence? <laughs> you, sir, have dishonored me! I challenge you to a duel! And then as soon as you get to the stage, my master kicks me out of the way and takes you to town, bro. Everybody was coming through, fighting me to Punches you to the beat. Yes, pour your alcohol on the stage. I totally think that's fine. I like that. It's really great. Do I want some? I actually don't drink, which is the weirdest thing I could have said to this room right now. The only thing I can say to an English person weirder than that is like, hey man, can I talk to you about my feelings real quick? <laughs> Jesus, bro. Because I'm an animal when I drink. I'm like the Hulk, you won't like me when I'm angry. Actually, you guys would probably be alright with it. In America, they get all weird about it. I don't think I would have quit drinking if I lived over here. In America, they get all, you know, the next day, they're like, God, you should have seen yourself last night. Get your dick out. <laughs> Shaking it around. Yeah. Over here, you guys are like, fucking like legend. <laughs> Every time I went to a party, people were like, hey, get your dick out. Shake it around. <laughs> What's that? Why don't I get my dick out and shake it around? Oh. You've switched sides halfway through the game. Uh, I would get my dick. If it was just me and you doing a gig, I would take that challenge. But my dick isn't funny. It really, it really isn't. It's not funny, you know? Because Americans have, plus all these dudes in here are uncircumcised, they'd be like, what's wrong with it? <laughs> Man, you guys are uncircumcised, your dick is, it's very cynical, you know, it's like just... Like, the, the British penis comes out slow like an animal, like, what's going on out there? Oh, it's scary! American dick's ready for war. American dick looks like that guy's head. It's got a beard and it knows kung fu. That was a great moment to high five. Did it cost extra to get her to bang your friends? <laughs> high five, I've seen all your dicks. Adorable. Horrible or adorable? Oh, horrible. No, it's not. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy, that's slut shaming. I never understood that, slut shaming. And proud, encouraging, like well, who's coming up with this? Shaming people, are you kidding me? That's, you know what that is? It's because dudes can't handle girls not having sex with them. That's what it is. That's all that is. Any country that's like uh, really hard on that kind of thing, it's just like you basically, you can't handle a woman being as free sexually as you are. And, because, and also... <laughs> Thank you very much. This is the safest city to say that kind of thing in, by the way. If I was in Essex right now, there'd be like a riot. <laughs> Honestly, London is the most liberal place on earth. I'll say something that I think is totally innocuous and they'll be like, no, I don't think so. You had a penis when you said it, so. We've called The Guardian, your subscription has been suspended. You know what I love about London though? Super liberal on really big issues. Treat people in front of them like shit. It's amazing, right? It's the same thing when you go to like New York, right, in America? You go to New York and they're like, I believe in LGBT, LMNOP, QRF, motherfucker. But if somebody gets in front of you when you're trying to get on the subway, you will step on an old lady's throat. <laughs> However, if you go to a tiny little redneck town, you know what I mean? They're really nice to your face and then they're horrendous on the big issues, you know? You go to a little redneck town, they'll be like, you know, like a place like Mississippi, all right? It's a tough one to spell, I'll help you. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-K-K-K, -S 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 -K -K, right? <laughs> They're so nice to you. They're like, hey, welcome. Nice to have y'all in here. You want some extra beans? They're on the house. Excuse me one minute. And then they go in the basement. They got two dudes locked up like Pulp Fiction. <laughs> it puts the lotion in the basket, Mexican. 
A fucking like thing of Trump. Uh, 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 yes. Almighty. Uh, 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 uh. So true, man. I do love it over here. What did you say, man? What did you... Oh, my jokes are American? Yeah. No, no, no. Like, uh, when, when you say jokes, you mean like the 10 minute riff on Kung Fu, man? Like, well, where, where are you from? You're from London. So you're not happy if I don't do 75 minutes on the district line, is that what you're saying? <laughs> By the way, what you just did right there is typical of exactly what I was talking about. London people live in the bubble, never go outside, and are offended at any sort of outside perspective. You see? It's that kind of attitude that led for this whole entire city to go, What the hell? Who voted Brexit? <laughs> Everybody in my waitros, they didn't vote. <laughs> my master just said, smash that cut to pieces, dude. <laughs> and he's eating Pringles, bro. My sensei is gonna watch me fuck you up while he enjoys a nice crisp. And you know where Pringles are made, right, bitch? USA, bro. Fucked up, they're like, uh, brought to you by Yorkshire. I'm like, oh, fuck. Made in fucking acne. <laughs> Alright, you want me to do British stuff? I'll talk about it. I've been over here long enough. That was funny, man. You guys, um, thank you. This is a bit too relaxed, I think, right? I'm just eating Pringles all of a sudden on stage. Too American for you? Should I change my accent? And you know what's fucked up? Is you said you're originally from the Middle East, right? So you've made it almost impossible to insult you right now. An American going head to head with a Middle Eastern heckler in London? Dude, I am walking on a PC landmine right now. There are people in the back right now like, we're watching you, okay? You watch your fucking step, mister. You take no offense. What part of the Middle East are you from? You're from Iraq. Uh, um, there's a bald white guy who looks like the principal from Back to the Future who just got pissed off right now. That dude over there is like, everybody on Iraq's a slacker. What a great reference. An American film, I apologize. I'll try to make some sort of Notting Hill or Love Actually reference. <laughs> Fun fact about people in Iraq, they're apparently incapable of whispering. He's too American! His jokes are too American. How ironic that you said that loud as fuck. <laughs> Even an American would have had the decency to whisper that to their partner. He's too American. From Iraq, how long have you been over here? <coughs> Have you been over here your whole life? Well then you can't claim my rap, dude. That doesn't count, man. You know what I mean? He's still brown? That was you said that? It doesn't go away. He's not like one of those pens you flip over and the ink drops out. I don't know what to do. We sent him to England 20 years ago and he's still brown. We're doing all we can. Now take our son here. He lived in China for 16 years. And he looks like a kung fu master. That's what we expect when you send you to another country. Russell's dick still doesn't have foreskin. What is going on? You like that, huh, bro? Yeah, you're a good 
guy all night coming at you. You can't claim it right still, man. London's beautiful though, man. You guys are great. Such a great place. I like that. Different perspectives coming from all over the place, you know. Brexit was weird though. This is what I love about you guys though. Is when you have an election, you don't do anything about it right away. Or ever. Say what you want about America. When we decide to fuck our country up, we do it immediately, alright? To America now. We fuck it up immediately, you know what I mean? Did someone just say, what'd you say? Too obvious? Huh? Who said too obvious? What the fuck is going on here? When did you guys suddenly become like uh, the, the judges on the, the comedy board of all things that are good? A bunch of drunk ass people on the weekend. Most of you are estate agents. I know what's going on in here. I know who goes out on New Year's Eve like this. Fucking pencil pushers telling me all my shit's too obvious. Fuck you. You're just too excited. You got a bank holiday tomorrow, right? You're like, oh my god, I have a day off tomorrow. Too obvious. Who said too obvious? Strickland, point him out. McFly. Did you know who it was, Mr. Strickland? Huh? You don't know. He's what? Too American. Holy shit. Holy shit. This guy doesn't want to get involved. I'm not fucking with Steven Seagal's stunt double, dude. Fuck that. This dude looks like he knows 17 types of Krav Maga. Can we handle this? This guy's coming at us with a fucking ponytail, bro. Oh shit, now the audience is getting involved. What's going on over here, mate? What? We are in peace. Excellent, man. Lebanese and Israel? Oh, sweet. Oh, right, it's in peace. Oh, I bet you're gonna claim credit for that, aren't you? Brothers, we are one. May you live in Notting Hill, fuck up. Your whole life. I bet you you're not always from Iraq, right? Only in situations like this. Huh? You're in America, you get pulled over from the police, you're like, Hugh fucking Grant. Oh, hello, Bobbies. <laughs> Bob's your uncle, then. Cheerio. <laughs> get in an argument with an American comedian, you're like, that's bang out the border, bro. <laughs> are you from Iraq? <laughs> Where are you from, my friend? You are Israeli. Beautiful, man. That's excellent. Sorry about them trying to change the capital and all that. I don't know. I'm with you guys, man. I thought the capital of Israel was in North London. I don't know what's going on. Yes, I think you should have a say in it. 
I will not come on your face. I'll pull out and come on your back like a gentleman, for God's sakes. A little too gay for some of you, wasn't it? I was like, I'm not clapping that. Not gay enough, this guy says. Too gay for you, Iraq? Huh? Not gay enough. What a beautiful evening we've had here, you guys. It's been a lot of love, you know? You guys are out there tonight. There's an after party. Are we all hanging out? Yeah. Mr. Strickland, are you going to hang out? <laughs> the end of the show is going to look like the Under the Sea dance. I'll fucking jump on stage and be like, all right, guys, this is a blues riff from B. Watch me do changes and try to keep up. Said that's too obvious. That's a bit obvious, picking a bald guy and then doing a Back to the Future movie rant. Bit obvious. Doesn't this guy have Twitter, Snapchat? That's young girls for you, man. I can hear that. I can hear a heckle over there. I like that. I like, uh, I like older women. Forget about cougars. I like saber-toothed tigers. I'm not even kidding. Like, I like older women. I'm 34 anyway. That's like the age group. And I'm t properly old. You try to hit on a younger girl, it's too much hassle. They're like, this is my precious garden. No one gets in here unless they have the keys to my heart. Get an older woman, it's like an old gate hanging off the hinges. It's like private property, don't you like that one, Ira? I got to you, bastard! We are the world. We are the children. I got you on that one, didn't I? You like me now? He likes me now. Somebody want to tell me why the Punisher just walked out? Come on, it looks exactly like him. Don't worry, Mr. Strickland. Holy shit, man. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, you've been absolutely beautiful. Uh, Although the front row, no, 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 no. Mr. Strickland, Mr. Okay. Stay, bro. So we're gonna come on that dude's face. I love that the gig has gotten relaxed enough that it sounded like I had like bought weed from you and then was gonna leave before I smoked you out. Stay, bro. I'm not doing anything, bro. Where are you from, man? Bahrain? Let me ask you something, all right? Let me ask you. Yeah, Bahrain. You ever heard of it? Jesus Christ, even I know. Are you for real? You don't know where Bahrain is? Okay. Uh, let me ask you something, man. You're from Bahrain, all right? In the Middle East. Yeah. My jokes were too American. <laughs> what? They were all right. <laughs> what? Bring, Bring him on the stage. Yeah. I don't know that I should do this. I think the responsible thing to do would be to leave the stage since they told me to get off about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> No, wait, wait, wait. To be fair, I might have brought him on if he's like, I thought your jokes were amazing, but he's like, they yeah, were all right. <laughs> Fuck, man. I got a tour coming up in the Middle East, man. I'm nervous. <laughs> like a stand-up tour. I'm not, like, getting deployed. <laughs> I got a tour coming up, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're back, bro! <laughs> Shake my hand, man. Love this guy. Where are you from, man? Palestinian. Why did you guys sit on opposite sides of the room then? You live on the Israeli side. 
but you are Palestinian. Well, you know what? Someone get their phone out. Can you, would you mind staying right there for a second? I think, as an act of union, the two of you come together and come all over this guy's face. The sensei, he's ready. It's a he's ready for it. You're amazing. You guys, uh, shake hands at least, man. Bring them together. Israel, Palestine. There are no borders. Feel that, America. Iraq, get in here, Iraq. Get in here, Iraq. Ladies and gentlemen, we have brought the world together tonight. Remember that as you celebrate your new year, you've been beautiful. Have a happy new year. I love you all. Good night.